Could LifeSum be a contender for one of the best nutrition tracking apps? Hey everyone, I'm Janine with feastgood.com and today I'm gonna to be talking about LifeSum. The LifeSum Health app, this has taken the nutrition world by storm. They have over 10 million downloads, but I wanted to try the app for myself because I wanna see if it's worth using and I wanted to see if it was worth you trying it out too. So I tried both the free and the premium version of the app for one month and so did one of my colleagues at Fisco.com who is a certified nutrition coach. And while there were aspects I definitely loved, there are also some people that I don't think will find this app valuable. So stick around to find out if this is the right app for you. I've linked the full blog post in the description and this is gonna have more information on how we tested the product, how you can save money on the app if you decide to purchase it, and any alternatives that we recommend. So let's get right into the review. I'm gonna go over how the app works, my personal experience using it, the pros and cons of the app, as well as who should and should should not be using LifeSum because this isn't for everyone. LifeSum is a calorie and macro tracking app. This was designed to help you achieve your health and fitness goals. The app is advertised as a health app that's going to help you become healthier by incorporating its suggested dietary recommendations. The LifeSum app, it gets to know you by asking you about your current physique, about your weight loss goals, and then it puts together a calorie target and a plan to help you achieve these goals in a realistic time frame. LifeSum works by gathering all the information about your caloric needs. So they ask you questions like your age, your height, your current weight, your goal weight, and then they run its calculations to find your maintenance calories, which are the number of calories you need to maintain your weight. It also requires that you select a goal, so either weight loss, maintenance, or weight gain. And then the app runs this information through the basic calorie calculations to give you a general calorie and micronutrient target based on the data and your goals. So if you select maintenance as your goal, then they're gonna recommend your calorie goal be equal to the estimated maintenance calories it predicted for you based on its calculations. For example, if it estimates for you to maintain your weight, then you need a 2000 calorie diet a day then your calories will be set at 2,000 calories a day. If you select weight loss as your goal, you can then select how aggressively you wanna pursue this goal. And that's within reason, obviously, they want you to lose weight in a healthy way. And to do this, they adjust how much weight you want to lose each week. So the app doesn't give you a particular timeline to reach your goal, but it will adjust your calories and macros based on how much you're comfortable losing each week. So based on your selected rate of loss, like if you wanna lose a pound a week, it's gonna take your estimated maintenance calories and then decrease them to the corresponding calorie and macro targets. Then it's going to help you achieve this rate of progress that way. So if you selected weight gain as your goal, you're also going to have the option to adjust the rate at which you gain weight. So based on how fast you wanna gain weight, like let's say you wanna gain half a pound a week, then the app is going to add calories to your estimated maintenance calories to encourage weight gain. With the LifeSum app, you can also choose to follow their customized plan with the foods that you would regularly eat or you can follow one of their meal plans that they have specific diets that you might be interested in. For example, if you have a goal of losing weight, the app may recommend eating 1500 calories per day based on the initial screening questions that you answered. And then they're gonna create a plan with recipes based on a caloric target and breakdown of carbs, proteins, and fats to match that particular diet. So let's say you wanted to try the keto diet. And the app would create a meal plan for you that's low carb with moderate protein and high fat. After trying the app for one month, I've evaluated it based on my personal preferences for calorie and macro tracking. And I will say I would use this app myself long-term because I really do enjoy the recipe ideas and how easy it is to use to track my food. However, I would not use the calorie and macro targets that the app recommends because based on my testing, they were actually pretty inaccurate. And this is partly because their initial questionnaire doesn't ask you about your activity level. So if you're active and you have more muscle mass, maybe you lift weights, the app's gonna suggest too low of a calorie intake. For this reason, I think the app would be great for those who can set their own calorie and macronutrient targets. But I think a lot of people are gonna have problem with that and they're gonna need guidance of a nutrition coach in order to do this. Relying solely on the calorie and macronutrient guidance on the app can actually be pretty harmful if it's done incorrectly. So you've gotta make sure you consult a nutritionist before making an extreme change to your diet or your caloric intake. One thing I do like is that LifeSum markets their product by promoting better health and not just weight loss. They even put together a health test and they ask you about 40 questions for your current eating and exercise habits. And then the results of the test, they don't automatically get factored into the app's recommendations for you, but it does help provide you with information on which habits you should focus on to improve your health. One negative aspect that was pointed out by my colleague who is a nutrition coach was the preloaded diets that are in the app. They have things like fasting diets, keto diets, paleo, clean eating. Most of the meal plans come with a 21 day meal plan and a grocery list that are designed to help you stick to whatever diet that you choose. 
But she found this problematic because if you're trying to have a healthy relationship with food, these diets can make people think that they have to drastically change their way of eating in order to make progress, and that's not true. So this could also lead you to yo-yo dieting because some of these diets are not sustainable for long periods of time. However, overall, I feel like the app is perfect for someone like me who just wants a convenient way to log my food with the ability to customize my calories and macros how I want. I preface this with the fact that I also work with a nutritionist, so she it helps me know exactly how many calories I need to achieve my goals and the macronutrient breakdown of carbs, proteins, and fats, which is crucial when you want to lose or gain weight safely. There are certain aspects of how LifeSum works that I think are really great. Then there's also things that I'd like to change about the app if I could. So I just wanna dive into what I like and what I don't like. So here's what I liked about the app. First off, the app has a huge database of foods that encompasses information from five verified food databases and also foods that have been created by its users. However, I wouldn't recommend using the, the unverified foods if you can help it since they're not as accurate as the verified foods. One of the best features of LifeSum app is the ability to customize your intake by adjusting your calorie and macronutrient targets. So your carbs, your fats, your proteins. Without this feature, I probably wouldn't even use this app because I wouldn't follow the app's recommendations for calorie and macronutrient targets. The benefit of customizing your intake is being able to tailor your nutrition to your specific needs because everyone is different. Everybody needs different calorie and macros that work best for them. And this app is also fantastic for its recipe database. They have over 250 breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack recipes. This has really helped me feel more inspired and excited about the food I'm gonna eat. I also like the premium version allows you to set your own calorie and macro targets. And this is a big requirement for me because I just wanna make sure that it's going to meet my needs and I wanna be able to adjust them. I also like that the app allows you to track waist, chest, and arm measurements and add your own custom measurements. I like to track my hip and thigh measurements, so this is some things that I added in to the custom measurements. And I appreciate that the app tracks measurements because oftentimes measurements change more than your body weight which is actually a really important sign of progress. LifeSum also limits the rate at which you can lose weight. And this is great because this shows that the app really values health over results at any cost. You need to lose weight at a healthy rate. In addition to that, the app was designed to allow those with a higher body fat percentage to lose weight faster than those with a lower body fat percentage. And this is fantastic because it's normal and healthy for those with a higher body fat percentage to lose weight at higher increments each week. For example, someone with a higher body fat percentage may be losing five pounds a week rather than one pound a week. The app also allows you to set habit goals and there are options to set it for water, fruits, vegetables, and these serving goals, which I think is great to encourage you to focus on the quality of the food that you're eating. Lastly, I like that LifeSum app tries to educate users on the foods that they're about to log by stating their benefits and their drawbacks. I think this feature is good for educating without demonizing less nutritious foods. I like cookies sometimes too, okay? So it's good to have that option in there. Now for the things I didn't like. The calorie calculations, they are way off, especially for very active or muscular people. I weigh about 130 pounds and usually eat like 2,000 calories a day to maintain my weight. They were saying I needed 1,530 calories. This is a bigger deal if I selected weight loss as my goal because my intake would be severely restricted beyond what needs to be based on their calculations. And this is also a problem because inaccurate calorie calculations affect protein recommendations. And during weight loss, it's important to eat enough protein, generally about a gram of protein per pound of body weight. However, the app uses macronutrient percentages, like 50% carbs, 30% fat, 20% protein, based on their calorie calculations, which means that protein intake will be much lower than it should be because these calculations are inaccurate. The app doesn't ask about activity level, and it allows you to log your exercise, but when you log your exercise into the app, it adds the calories you burned back into your daily intake. So this doesn't allow you to achieve a calorie deficit, and that's what's necessary to lose weight. However, there is an option to turn this feature off, which I recommend. Another negative aspect pointed out to me by my nutritionalist colleague was that the app still uses BMI as a measure of health, which is a really old school way of thinking, and that's been debunked in recent years. This is not something that you should be measuring. A better measure of your overall health is actually your waist to hip ratio which research has showed that this is a stronger predictor of cardiac risk 
and one of the biggest risk factors for unhealthy people. They could easily incorporate this by adding hip measurement and providing the user with their associated level of risk based on the ratio. Now let's talk about free version versus the premium version. LifeSum does have a free version, but unfortunately it's really limited. And the main reason why I would not recommend the free version is because you need to have a premium account to adjust your calories and macros yourself. Without having control over these features, the app just really isn't worth it because the value of this app is really the recipes and the ability to adjust everything to your specific needs. And who is this app right for? The LifeSum app is great for people who are knowledgeable about nutrition, who can understand their calorie goals and the distribution of macronutrients, or anyone who has a coach who can help do this for them. Those with a strong foundation in nutrition or receiving nutrition coaching, they're not gonna be swayed by the preloaded diets that the app contains because they'll understand that there isn't one particular diet that's going to help them achieve their goals. Instead, it's all about following basic nutrition principles, being realistic and being consistent. Who should not use this app? Anyone who is just starting their wellness journey and maybe doesn't have the nutritional knowledge yet because most people with weight loss goals following the app's recommendations are gonna eat much less than they would need to in order to lose weight. This may not sound like an issue because the goal is to lose weight, right? But if your calories are much lower than they need to be, then you're going to increase your risk of losing muscle mass, which is gonna negatively impact your physique and it significantly slows down your metabolism, which is gonna cause you to burn fewer calories throughout the day, which is not the goal. This is also not great for anyone who has a difficult relationship with food or an eating disorder since the focus of the app is calorie Counting. Overall, I think this app has potential to be really great for the right person, and I personally will continue to use it to track my nutrition goals. If you'd like more information on how we've tested the product, how you can save money on the app if you decide to purchase it, and if you want to learn about any other alternatives that we recommend, I have linked the full blog post in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss another review. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have an awesome day.